Hello everybody, welcome back to more Reader Rabbit's Interactive Math Journey. Today is the day we go to World 7, the second world regarding addition and subtraction. Now, I saw the main map of this world last episode, and it triggered something within the deeps of my memories and nostalgia. I remember parts of this world, but I couldn't tell you what all we're doing. But my best guess is we're bowling for penguins. I don't even know why I think that. That's just, there's something in the back of my memory. Because keep in mind, it's been like 20 years since I've last played this game. It's something stirring though. I feel it. I feel something so familiar about this world. And we're about to discover how much of this world I actually remember. And how much of this I just think I remember. Let's go. We're off to the land of Alpine Edition. Alpine Edition, eh? Wow, what's going on here? Olympics. Can I compete? Go on, race for first place, plus a whole lot more. Okay, the addition Olympics, eh? Is this supposed to be like the Alps? Or Gre I think it's supposed to be the Alps. Let the games begin! Maybe Greece? I mean, the Olympics are Greece. But this looks like the Alps, which is in Switzerland, I think. I'm not very good of geography. This is Rita Rabbit's math journey, not Rita Rabbit's geography journey. <laughs> if you want to learn geography, play Carmen San Diego. Anyhow, let's see what this world's all about. We're going in a hot air balloon, folks. I recognize this hot air balloon. These cows are getting ready to begin their balloon race across the Alps. But they can't begin the race until the right number of cows are in the air. To get the race going, we need a total of 45 cows in the sky. Now let's see. Each helium balloon carries one cow. Each hot air balloon carries 10 cows. We can use the thumbtack to sink any balloon and bring it down to the ground. We can use the wand to change one hot air balloon into ten single cows holding helium balloons. Um, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> All of these, it's like, oh, the cows are uh, joining the Cow Olympics and they're, they're flying on balloons there. Oh, we can't have this many cows. Let's pop their balloons and send them plummeting to their deaths. What? <laughs> this is a lot darker than I remember. Holy cow. Literally, holy cow. So it's like, oh, okay, we have 89 cows. That makes sense. We've got <laughs> eight groups of 10 yeah, cows. That's 80, 80 and then nine individual nine. cows. We need cows 45. Need so right off the bat, um, yes. sorry, cows in the sky. I'm about, I am literally about to murder 40 cows. Die. Moving right along. We literally just killed 10 cows. And we're about to kill 10 more. I only hope that, like, the helium in the balloon is still high enough that, like, they float down not at the speed of gravity, in which case, oh man. This is not good. We are literally committing murder right now. The math Journey just took a very dark turn. The math Journey just took a very dark turn. Now we have... Alright, we, we're now at 49. We have 48. Okay, those cows are safe, because they at least have umbrellas. Boom. You are utterly fabulous. Good job. <laughs> we what? did it. What now the heck? the race can begin. And the hot air balloons show you how many races you've started. Help start five races to collect an activity star. Click on your hot air balloon to begin a new game. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to process this. What? Okay, f first world. It's like, hey, let's help the, let's help this quail make some quilts for her babies by using like symmetry. Second world. Let's help this donkey make like cool stuff in his bakery using a uh, sugar cane addition. Third world. Let's help this lazy beaver build a, a bunch of different homes for himself. 
uh, using like measurement. World four. Let's f help these cats get pizza by using division to cut the pizza into like the right amount of pieces. World five. Let's put on the worst show ever by putting bugs on stage. World six. Hey, let's help this guy repair his igloo and engage in a snowball fight. World seven. Let's murder some cows. It's it's math because <laughs> every time you kill a cow, you subtract one. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I mean, they picked the least graphic way to die, but still, what what on earth? Okay, I think this is the opposite. So now we have 96 cows and we need 270. So this time it's the opposite. We need to put more cows in the air, all right? Well, let's put a blimp in the sky. That's 100 cows. Okay, so now we have 196. Um, okay. Well, we need four more individual helium cows. Alright, so now we're up to 200. We need 70 more. So we need 70 more hot air balloons. Boom. That's enough cows. Alright. You made it safe to fly. We did it! I mean, I... Now the race can begin. This is the weirdest world of them all. Like, without a doubt. What the heck? Jeez Louise! I mean, I get what they're trying to do, and like, from a mathematical concept, this is good to teach kids how to add and subtract. But maybe pick a way that involves less death. Like, seriously. Wouldn't it be that hard? I just want to note, kids, that the cows don't actually die. Every single balloon comes with a parachute, so they're able to parachute safely to the ground. But it's not like Tally Cat knows that. Like, seriously, she's a terrible person. All right, we have 128, and we need to put up another... Okay. <laughs> we need to put up another 92. Well, we're going to put up another set of 100, and then... Pop goes the cows. <laughs> this time we added 100, and now we're subtracting... Eight. I don't remember. Like, I kind of... I remember bo the balloon part, putting them up. I don't remember killing cows via popping their balloons. I mean, making cows parachute to the ground by popping their balloons. That's still not a nice thing to do. You are utterly fabulous. I appreciate Good the job. puns. They're we very did it. good. Now the race can begin. Okay, what is what is up with this and weird cow bowling horns hot air balloon in later hosen? Also, why is Tally wearing later hosen? I have a lot of questions. Okay, we have two hundred and sixty-eight. We need two hundred and eighty-five. Cool. Well, we can add ten to that. Now we're up to two hundred and seventy-eight. So now let's put no, 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 no. Now we're up to 279, 280, we need five more helium balloon cows. Also, why cows? I don't know why they made the, the decision to have the cows be on balloons. I feel like they'd be, I feel like it'd be a lot harder for balloons to be able to float cows up into the sky compared to something like, say, grasshoppers. I don't know, maybe, I guess they already did the bug world. I shouldn't have a cow over their choice of animal. I knew you could do it. Wow. We did it. I now knew you could game. do it. That's pretty good. And click on your hot air balloon to begin a new game. So, so is this a new Olympic event that I'm just not familiar with? It's like, okay, Olympic events. We've got the hurdles. We've got, like, the triathlon. We've got, like, sledding and swimming. Oh, but now we've got the great aerial cow race. Uh, I don't remember that. Okay, we have <laughs> we have 298. That's way too many. We only need 71. All right, we're about to commit mass murder. Bye, cows. Bye, cows. We're down to 98. Hey, what's your bid? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, why would you do that? You're a terrible person. Bye. 
Now we could pop seven of these individual cows in the air, but it'll be easier to pop another 10 and just put up four more. Or I'm sorry, three more. I can math, I can do math. There we go. That's the right number of cows for the Olympics. You are utterly fabulous. <laughs> Good job. We can did it. Now the race can begin. Hey. Yeah, and that's so weird. They're off. Wow. <laughs> Mind blown, eh? Pop. Click on exit if you need a rest. Or keep clicking on the little hot air balloons to select your own race. No, I don't want to race anymore. Okay, I just... Uh, so, uh, we were thinking of having cows in the Olympics. Just fly them and have them race in the sky. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Uh, how are they going to fly, though? Like, do you have, like, on, like, an airplane? No, uh, they're going to hold helium balloons. Like, just one? Yeah, that's enough. And they'll ride in hot air balloons and in blimps. Uh, okay, uh, how many cows were you bringing to the Olympics? Oh, uh, we were thinking 71. Is that okay? Yeah, that, that seems acceptable. Actually, wait, uh, we have another last minute entry. Could we have, like, 72 cows? No, that's just way too many. Kill them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> well, that was not bowling for penguins, but maybe that'll be this one. All right, we've got another math challenge. This is not a math test. It's not a math quiz. It's not a math exam. We're just having fun. Let's see what this is about. Oh no! The ski team needs our help! They're stranded on that mountain. Let's help all 10 skiers get down the mountain before the snowball squashes them into Swiss cheese. Skiers must ski over the rocks that are equal to the number on the red starting gate flag. Click on the correct rocks to guide each skier down the hill. What? What? The, what's with all of the death in this world? Oh no! This the the Swedish Olympic cow ski team is having trouble going down the mountain, and right now this. This giant snowball is threatening to kill them and crush them to death. We're not just going to have them, like, move out of the way. No, you've got to hurry up and make them go down the mountain. This... What? This world makes no sense. This is also... Okay. Whatever I thought bowling for penguins was, I think it must be this one. Instead of bowling, you've just got a giant snowball here. And instead of penguins, it's cows. Which, admittedly, they're basically in the Arctic. So you can understand why four-year-old Artie thought that they were penguins. Actually... No, there's really no excuse. I don't know what crazy hallucinations my mind concocted to make me think of bowling for penguins, but I don't think that that's a thing in this game or in any game. If there is a game where you can bowl for penguins, please let me know. Actually, that, I think that's Club Penguin. Anyhow, you're number eight. Seven plus one is eight. Go there. You did it! You were really slow, though, so the... Cows, just move out of the way. This is just adding unnecessary drama. Like, literally. Alright, 3 plus 5 is also 8. <laughs> yeah, that, that snowball go. is definitely going to crush them. Just get out of the way. How did that giant snowball even get there? Somebody put that there and is actively trying to kill these people. It's probably Tally Cat, because she's already killed like 500 cows. She's just going on a rampage. What the heck? <laughs> This world is simultaneously the best and the worst. 1 plus 2 plus 5 is also 8 because 1 plus 2 is free, and we just knew 3 plus 5 is 8. Here I come! Good for you! Hey lady, are you not at all concerned about this? Even a little bit? Nope. Okay. Do you cows have literally anything to say about the predicament you are in? No? How about you? Nope. Okay then, well, 3 plus 4 is 7, so go there. Great going. Again, this, this does just kind of feel like a math test. Like, oh hey, well, a little bit. It's more like you have all these equations, which one gives you this answer? So I guess technically, if you've memorized it a whole bunch, you can figure it out without actually having to do real math to figure out the answer, but... 
Still, this is kind of a lazy way of integrating math into the story. Math Journey, you had a really strong... St I remember specifically as a kid, the beginning of this game and, like, World 9 were amazing. And then, like, I remember the middle of the game just kind of dragging. And this is why. Because it's basically just like you're taking a math test. It's just... It's even more stressful, though. Because if you s screw up, it's not just like, oh, you, you didn't get as good of a grade. It's like, oh, if you screw up, these cows will die. <laughs> That's not a good motivator to help kids be good at math. Two plus five is seven. Go there. Nice move. Meanwhile, I'm taking so long doing this that the cows are gonna die. One plus three plus one is five. I'll speed it up, go. cows, because you're too stupid to get out of the way now. Six plus three is nine. I didn't even have to look at the others. Actually, 5 plus 4 plus 0 is also 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. So is 5 minus 4. Either of those would have been good. 3 plus 1 is 4. So is 1 plus 2 plus 1. Great going! Alright, last cow. Hey, we, we solved it! We solved it. Now the snowball won't kill anybody. What, these are the worst Olympics. I can't tell if this is the worst Olympics ever or the best Olympics ever. Because, like, there's actual, like, real risk of people dying. But that's also terrible. Also, this just strikes me as fake drama. Like, they're not actually in any danger. It's just like, oh, no! The cows are gonna die unless they perform this sick jump down the slope. It's like, what? Five plus four is nine. And they died anyways. Superstar. The cows just died you and he gave me a gold star for it. Correct out of 10. Try. Ugh. And their faces here are still creepy. Like especially Maddie Mouse. That's just like ugh. Maddie Mouse is is not designed to be looked at face on. <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, hang on. Wait. That was her nose, not her mouth. I thought she was like, Duh. Okay, I'd have to... I'd have to look at that again. Alright, the Cow Olympics are saved. Actually, no, they're not. All of the comp all of the c contestants are dead now. <laughs> and we got a gold star and a souvenir for killing everyone! Wow! That is not what math is used for in the real world. <laughs> uh, that was, this, can we just forget this episode ever happened? Maddie Mouse, I'm talking right now. You can wait your turn. <laughs> Be polite. Then again, I'm not being polite. Well, um, I think it's safe to say that this world was an utter disaster. Yes, I'm going to milk these cow puns for all they're worth. Anyhow. Let's get our souvenir and get out. <laughs> Let's never go back to the Alps again. I wish it was bowling for penguins. Next world sneak peek. Oh, that's right. I vaguely remember this world. I remember this world being difficult. But we'll have to do it with the difficult world next time on Reader Rabbit's Interactive Math Journey. Hopefully with 100% less death. I, if we could go the rest of the Let's Play without killing, any, without killing anything, that would be ideal. Also, kids, I just want to know that no actual animals were harmed in the making of this Let's Play or in the making of this game. So, fear not. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Carl Flaherty. Tune in next time. We're going to the second world of measurement. I do believe we'll be balancing the weight on some scales, which is an actual real-life skill that you might need to know. You might need to know how to use scales in order to figure out how heavy things weigh. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.